Welcome to this unboxing. This is Perdition's Mouth Abyssal Rift. Uh, this is one of the solo games I was looking at. I kickstarted this back in December of 15. It was originally scheduled to deliver in October of 16, but uh, just got here, so about a three month delay, which is not too bad. Pretty good communication throughout. Now, this is a pretty massive uh, box. I got the Gamers Bundle, which had basically uh, everything, uh, a couple of expansions, and uh, let me just, so here's just a standard Sharpie, so shows you about how tall it is, uh, and it is a heavy puppy. Um, this, before I open it, and I apologize for the glare, I'm, it's winter time, so I'm down in my basement and the fluorescent lights are getting to it. Uh, this came with some uh, extra cards, uh, extra wound types, and it came with a scenery pack. Uh, with some doors uh, and some chests. Uh, but let me get this open, then I'll switch to a tripod and we'll see what's inside. Okay, I have this up on a tripod. I've got the plastic off. Thought I would open these up. Uh, these are just uh, some extra resin uh, bits. I don't know how well that's coming through, um, but just little game aids, um, and the doors are very similar. Just a hard, just a hard resin. Um, so, as I said, this was a Kickstarter game. It's part of my. Uh, looking at solo campaigns, um, this is for oh, one to six players. Um, uh, one of the things that attracted me, it was different. It uses the Rondell mechanism. I have no games that do that, so I wanted to try that out. Um, and also, uh, it has a campaign mode. Um, it is cooperative, but for one to six. A uh, couple hours, but you can go... Uh, uh, on a continuous campaign, which is what I was looking for. I got the Bargain Bundle, which has the uh, Hideout, uh, Witch's Grotto, which is an expansion, some trait deck, and other extras. Uh, so, uh, box came pretty well packed, got a little bit beat up, um, and a little split in the box here, um, where there was a little tear. Um, and I'm sorry, because the camera's up on the table here, because this is so big. Uh, so there's a little bit of shake. <coughs> ah. Now the artwork, I actually like the artwork. I think it's pretty nice. Um, it is definitely different. Um, here's the rule book. Um, I have not actually looked online. This sort of came as a surprise. I wasn't expecting it yet. Um, but uh, I will go online and look and see, and then I'll go through. I have a components list someone put on. So this is the rules for the hideout expansion, rules for the witch's grotto expansion. These are the scenario sheets that come with it. Uh, so you start out and you work your way through the dungeon. You can go back to your hideout um, uh, in between missions. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll pull them out. Okay. Side entrance. So basically each one gets a different uh, mission. On one side is the standard. And I'm guessing on the other side, oh, it says also standard. Um, uh, there must be a hard variety too, or it wouldn't say standard. No, there's hard, so it gives you levels of difficulty. Um, and I'm sure there will be more scenarios uh, coming. Here are the models. This came with a couple of multi-piece I don't remember what was exclusive, what wasn't. I usually don't worry too much about that. Um, this was the tortured person. 
Um, uh oh. Uh, uh, that's not so good. Um, and then. Um, okay, nothing to there, but I will have to send a note to him that the witch came broken. Um, I'm not sure what the shield tokens are exactly for, um, but let me pull out one of these. These are the extras that came. Um, so, pretty good quality, not going to need a lot of cleanup. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Um, uh, just more doors. Um, these are the standard models that um, I assume come with the base game. The Witch was an extra, so these are in a hard plastic, so probably less likely to break. Um, but again, like the others, a lot of detail on them. I'm not sure if I'll paint these or not. Uh, these are all your bad guys. Apparently these will be the good guys with more of the shield tokens. Um, but yeah. yeah, for a box game, pretty decent miniatures. Um, Alright, let's see what else is in this box here. Um, there's some more miniatures, another broken. So the plastic held up pretty well, but these, uh, eh, I'm sure these are all the exclusive ones, did not hold up quite so well. The resin, what do we got down here? This is the, uh, the guy hanging in a cage. Okay. All right. I'm sorry to stare at things. Just continue digging through. A couple stones. For markers, a couple more uh, pieces of the rondelle, and then lots of cards. So combat is card driven, there are no dice in the game whatsoever. Um, so I will go through all the cards, there are lots and lots of cards. Um, everything is run by cards, it's a very interesting game mechanic if you look at some of the game run throughs. Um, that's one of the things, sorry, that brought me to the game. Alright, now lots of chits if you don't want to use miniatures, the rondelles that you put together and you peg around to find out what you do. And of course let's look. Multiple maps, they're all double sided, good thick cardboard. Pretty happy with this. Very, very sturdy. There's one, two, three. Oh, okay, so there's the third, fourth. So there's the four standard maps that come with it. A little bit of bouncing. A witch's grotto map, which is one of the expansions. Hideout, which is also one of the expansions. And it has a basement. And 
and I'm holding it close, one, because it's kind of big, um, but two, so you can see the detail. Uh, a lot more punch cards, more miniatures, a couple more, oh, there's a base. Uh, a three piece. So just a few have to be put together. So not that hard. Um, more cards. And then more uh, punch tokens. So, uh, you know, that's everything in there. After I give it a play, I'll come back and tell you what I think about it. Um, so that is. Perdition's Mouth, just what comes in the box, plus the two expansions that came with it. Uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I will do my best uh, to answer them. Before I close this out, I wanted to just take a closer look at some of the parts. Um, I did pull down a list off of the net, and uh, so everything was there. Um, uh, a lot of cards, so here's sort of the typical card artwork. Um, Let's see, uh, there's lots of different, so there are attack cards, uh, there are uh, cards for the spells, there's cards for everything, and then there's actually number cards, which is how you uh, do your combat, uh, then there are actually uh, different wounds and conditions, um, so the, the artwork sort of throughout is pretty nice, um, the cards are good thick stock. Uh, I think they'll last a good long while. Um, it also comes with a large card that has uh, what all the different uh, tokens mean, what all the icons mean. This is actually a really nice addition to have just a little quick reference. Then there's also a quick reference for all of the different uh, types of monsters that you find. Uh, this side is standard mode, uh, and this side is when you want to go to a hard mode. Uh, the uh, different uh, challenges uh, come on cards. Uh, it works through a, a campaign, and if you do well, you go to one way. If you do poorly, you go another way. Fairly standard kind of stuff. came with, I think, 24 or more uh, different uh, scenarios. Uh, and then you have your character boards. Uh, so each character has their own board uh, with all their stats, stats and their tracker. Um, so you lay this down and you can use... Uh, I found the shield tokens are for moving along the rondelle and uh, to do uh, other markers. Um, and then we have the actual miniatures. So uh, the main miniatures that come in the box, there is the... I, I didn't pull them out. Um, but there is the the big uh, the Tharnix, which is big spider looking one, and then the Kyleen, uh, which is sort of a I don't know, looks like something out of Starship Troopers. Uh, you actually have here. This is a summoner. Uh, I have five of these. I think came in the box. Uh, you have your guards. They have blowpipes. Uh, you have your acolytes, which just carry a lantern. Um, this is your uh, bone worm, and then you have uh, this is a nest, and then there's one other. Um, sorry, the the uh, rotka looks like a little I don't know some kind of combination between a dog and a scorpion or something like that. I think someone called it a dog scorpion online. Uh, but those are sort of the main monsters. The uh, you get some additions in uh, the expansions, uh, and then the three-part one is a demon that needs to be put together, and that's sort of a big boss. Uh, when you move on to the heroes, uh, they are uh, pretty nice. Uh, so the one with the spear that was broken was Nishlim. Uh Then Aisha was the witch. Uh, uh, this is Bastion, and he's just a knight, uh, so it has sort of knight kinds of attributes. Uh, Tira, it's just it looks sort of like a Viking 
with a, a Warhammer. Simma is sort of this hobbit looking cat here. Um, then you've got, I don't know, this is almost like a steampunk dwarf, uh, you know, Gimli with some kind of steampunk machine. Uh, but he's he's the dwarf in there. This is Niffle, I think, is how, what his name is. Uh, he's kind of a thief, I think. And then the other one that comes with the main box uh, is this Elisa. And she's some kind of magic user, fire in her hands. Uh, so... Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, these are the ones. I'll give you a little. Uh, that's the Kyleens. Um, I haven't pulled them out still. Uh, I started reading, uh, looking through the rules. Uh, still looks interesting. I'm gonna. I'll play. Like I said, I will do something uh, on a review after I play. But uh, I just wanted to give you a closer look at some of the models, some of the artwork, and uh, some of the stuff in the box. Limbo, limbo, limbo. Okay, I couldn't help myself. But anyway, I did call or I sent an email to the company uh, to talk about this one. So they are going to replace uh, this one. This is just not really recoverable. Uh, they, however, are out of this model. Um, so I will try and glue him back together. I have to glue here. He's broken here. Uh, and a lot of bending. There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, put him in hot water, rebend him because he's he's actually broken on the leg too here. Uh, so they said they can't replace this one, uh, even though frankly it's kind of trashed. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed with that. Uh, maybe salvageable, uh, maybe not. Uh, but at least uh, they do have more of these. Uh, so, uh, she can limbo, um, but she can't do magic. Alright, so uh, once I actually get these in, I might do a little update with uh, the new models and see how this one gets fixed. Alright, that really is the end this time.